Now, I read that you say that you don't consider yourself fashionable. But when I look at this closet, uh, I disagree. So tell me about your fashion and your inspiration. But in my early days, I was mostly influenced by the town troll. <laughs> so. <laughs> From Amazon Music, it's the walk-in, honey. Legendary children. Ah, my heart here. Welcome to another fabulous episode of The Walk-In. I have traveled all the way down to Nashville, Tennessee to speak to who? The one and only Dolly Parton, baby. Ah! Dolly Parton is a singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist, entrepreneur, activist, and one of the most beloved celebrities and most successful female country singers of all time. Releasing her first ever rock album, Rockstar, there's truly nothing this woman can't do. Let me go see if I can find her. These are heavy. Dolly? She's in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to, ooh, what is this? What is this? If I'm in here, let me sneak around. Fringe, we like that, we like, ooh, come on, lace run. Oh, this is cute. Get your hands off me, you drag queen. Wait, you need a razor. <laughs> Hello, Mo. The how best intro in the world. <laughs> Dolly, how are I'm you? I'm good, how are you? It's so good to see good to you. see you. You look amazing. Now, Dolly, I was very inspired by you for this look, so. Oh, oh you mean the trash of it all? <laughs> I can see where you were, and thank you, I think. Oh. I still have that little dress. <gasps> I brought that because somebody told me you might have it. Now look at the difference in us. Mine looks like a doll dress. Because you are the doll. Well, I and love you're it. You're taller than RuPaul and Wendy Williams put together. Ooh. Give me my dress back. Take my dress off. I, I live. mean, literally, take my dress off. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> How are Darling, you? this is amazing. You have so many beautiful things to talk about. So here you go. We're going to start with the fashion rewind. This okay. is where we get to know who you were, how you started out, what were your inspirations, all right? But because you have so many things, I think we're gonna sit down. You oh, let's if we get do. some chairs? Yeah. Now let's we get can some chairs. Chat. Calling in the chairs, please! <laughs> now, I read that you say that you don't consider yourself fashionable. But when I look at this closet, I have to say, <laughs> when I look at you right here, I have to say, uh, I disagree. So tell me about your fashion and your inspiration. I think fashion to me is what you more comfortable mm -hmm. in and I never thought of myself as trying to stay up with fashion. But in my early days, I was mostly influenced by the town trolley. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen because she had the big hair, you know, all the, the tight clothes and mm -hmm. all that. And I thought she was just beautiful. But as far as the serious ones, as it started to grow, I think uh, Mae West, I always loved her and I always kind of related to her yeah. and of course Marilyn we all love. Yeah. So it's just been different people at different times, but I just had my own feel. I just felt like this was a country girl's idea of glam. Yeah. The more the merrier. I feel like you've had such a transformation within your fashions. I remember watching a video, you were singing a song that you're not some dumb blonde and it was very kind of mod, very 60s. I love the feather hair right here, <laughs> bouffant, coiffed. It was very kind of conservative, very kind of covered up. And then you just kind of evolved. And so, like, what allowed you to feel free to do that? When I was doing the Porter Wagner show, that was the number one syndicated show. And you kind of have to fit in into that. It was more conservative. As I got to be more free, freedom brings a certain amount of power it as does. well. And power brings along a lot of things where you can begin to make your own decisions. And as long as I felt comfortable in my own self, then I was okay to, to push the... The envelope. The envelope, yeah. as they say. Now you have a little spider web look back here that I'm really into. Tell me about this one. Well, that's kind of pretty, ain't it? Yes. I think I wore that on the CMAs, I think back in the early 70s, maybe yes. 1974. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, when I had Love is Like a Butterfly, and back in the Porter Wagoner days, too. Uh -huh. And then these, that's what I wore on tour a lot when I was with Kenny, Kenny Rogers. Rogers. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember the photo. Yeah, yes. we loved that. We had wonderful times together. And, and I heard more. that you were in Australia for five weeks with him with this album. We did a tour in New Zealand and in Australia, and we were gone for five weeks. And those are some of the clothes, the kind of clothes we <laughs> wore then. But I loved Kenny. I loved touring with him, and I miss him a lot. Now, I will say, I touching some of these garments, they are very heavy. They are. The beading. So how are you sitting up there just singing your little heart out 
with all of his beaded fringe. They are heavy to pick up. Yes. And I was as tall as you when yeah. I started, but those beads just kind of pulled me down. But seriously, once you get all those on, mm -hmm. they're, once they're distributed all over your body, you don't yeah. feel the weight. Very it. true. Yeah. Very, very I, yeah, true. I'm sure you've been I in have drag a few. long enough. Okay, Dolly, so we know that when you are like on stage, on set, you know, I've seen you in interviews, you said you'll wear a wig. But do you have a wig for like the grocery store, for the post office? I for do. Then do you? I wear wigs for everything. I mean, I do I do have my own hair, yes. of course, and I keep it bleached and I keep it the right length. It's basically the same, yeah. but I enjoy playing. I'm just one of those people. I, I love to play. I'm yeah. childlike in that way. Yeah. And I love dressing up and so so yeah, if I go to the grocery store, which I don't do much anymore, because okay. I have to spend more time signing autographs than I do <laughs> picking up my biscuits. Somebody and... pick up the biscuits, but I'll be over here right there. Come on. Uh -huh. You know, I do have a wig for anything I want. How do you take care of your clothes, or maybe in the early days? I well, I know this is going to sound funny, but I was always practical, too, and I didn't have all the help that I uh -huh. have now. Some of my own clothes, I had to make them with the polyester uh -huh. and the chiffon things yeah. that I could actually wash myself. And have you ever washed like uh, an outfit in the sink of a hotel or something? Of course. Yes, yeah, I've done that too. Oh, well, you have to. You what do. else are you gonna do You're like, I'm gonna in be your a early sweaty, days, or when you don't can't afford all the help that you know, so we've been true. lucky enough to do now? Yeah. I was always lucky because I didn't sweat much for a country oh. girl. No. <laughs> I have the sweat so that comes off to, my body. I didn't have to, to do, to too do much. as much as some of them yeah. did. We have a Bob Mackie right here. Oh, we do. We that do. Bob Mackie, that was from the sheriff. Yes. Show. And that was one of the highlights of my career because oh I've God. always loved her. So and I good. just loved watching that show to see how she was going to dress. Yes, the fashion. Because she was so beautiful. Yes. Oh, my God. And Theo, first of all, this is like legendary, the feathers still look quality, the stones, the beading, just quality work. And still holding up the test of time. You know, yes. if it's stretched, I would ask to borrow. I know, but I did not wash that one in the show. Uh, that, that part, okay? That's dry clean only. Dry clean only. Dolly, tell me, we had Shania Twain on the show. Like you, she is a pioneer when it comes to fashion, trailblazer. I said, who are the women that inspire your fashion, your music, your life? And she said, Dolly Parton. Oh, she's very self-confident. Mm. She's always positive. She's always exuding love and inspiration. So who are the women that inspire <sighs> you? I was like, it has to be her mom, her grandmother, or somebody. So who are those women? Well, actually, most of those women were in my own family. A lot mm. of my dad's people were very much like me. His mm. sisters were flamboyant. A lot of my mom's people, they were they were more religious, okay. brought up more in the religious. My dad's people were a little more free. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember my one aunt had the Fredericks of Hollywood catalog okay. that she had to keep hidden. It was like a man having a Playboy, oh, having to wow. keep it hidden. But I would find that and I would love looking at those things. So I honestly think that I was more influenced by that particular aunt. Okay. She's older now. But I remember just looking at those pictures and being influenced by that. And as I mentioned earlier, Mae West and some of the beautiful glamour stars in Hollywood, the ones that were more flamboyant. Yes. I love that. So you have so many lovers and fans in the LGBTQ plus community. And you have so many queens, like you said, that do Cher and Dolly. Have you ever seen a Dolly impersonator do Dolly better than that? I have. In fact, uh, you know my story, the fact that I actually lost a Dolly Parton lookalike contest with a bunch of drags. Because yeah. that's my hairdresser who was gay. It was Halloween, and so he said, hey, let's dress up and go down, you know, because they have a little contest every Halloween. So I had over-exaggerated myself as Dolly. <laughs> yeah. And I walked across the stage, and there were a lot of dollars and shares that night. And I got the least little trickle of, of applause because here they are like you, like right. Amazon oh, people. Yeah. And I have seen some beautiful drag queens that look better than I ever imagined that I could. <laughs> I live. Dolly, this has been so amazing getting to go back in time, getting to know who you are, the tenacity, the drive, the resilience, and the fashion. But now we're gonna move on to the future and get to know what you're working on now, coming into this new rock era. So first of all, I wanna know what inspired Dolly to go rock? I used to say I should do a rock and roll album, but it was only when I got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or got nominated yes. that I decided if I'm going to ever do it, not one to let good timing go to waste. Right, exactly. It's now for me, and I'm so proud of it. And for the fashion, what were you thinking? Well, you know, Molly, my friend Molly, she gave me some suggestions about things and uh, talked about different photographers and 
uh, different designers or whatever we wanted yeah. to do. But then, of course, uh, I have Steve Summers, who's been designing clothes for me for many, many years. Healthy. And so, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we just thought, well, what will we do? We want to show just enough. We don't want to be vulgar. I don't right. want to offend my country fans right. and the people. But here I am, 77 years old, a rock star. <laughs> so we just tried to think of what would be in good taste, but what would be as sexy as I could be at my age. Yay. And, you know, whatever I could do to fit in with the music mm -hmm. that I've done. And it's true rock. Yes. And I'm just thinking like how you are an inspiration to other people out there like, you know what? I'm 70 plus, I want to do a rock album. There's nothing that you can't do. Dolly, you really are that girl. Well, I am that girl yeah. because I've been at this 60 years, yeah. you know. So I don't think you ever get too old for that. I'm just hoping I get the cover of AARP. Speaking into existence, <laughs> speaking into existence, I live. You know what, Dolly, I want to check out some of these outfits, so let's get into them. I would love to show you around. Fabulous. <laughs> All right, Dolly, we are in the Fashion Forward where we get to find out who the doll is serving right now in this rock era. And this has caught my attention, my well, dear. Well, that Sh one is the cover of the rock ah, album. I I'm familiar. sitting in this Cadillac yeah. with the leopard skin upholstery, yes. and it's the one I just love. We were just trying to figure out what was sexy and what was pretty, and my niece, uh, Rebecca Sieber, who was, and she also was very influential with the new book, Behind the Scenes, it talks about all my yes, life. Yes, you have a new my book. My life in rhinestone. Yes. So anyway, she brought her Cadillac, and we kind of posed in, in that, so this was the cover. It looks better on, you can't hardly Right. Now, this one has given me a little bit of L. When I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall mm -hmm. of Fame, well, this is the outfit that I wore for that. That night, while I was wearing the suit, I was saying, I'm going to do a rock album. Anybody out there want to be on it? So <laughs> all these rock stars kept calling and saying, if you're serious about it, we do want to be on it. I so know. we do have a lot of money. But this one is special. And of course, this one. Th now, this one is the new single. But that's my Tina Turner dress. Yes. That's the one I was telling you, Steve Summers. You How know, did you sit with the spikes on it? Uh, well, I didn't have them on the inside. Uh -oh. They were out. I mean, they're not on the bus? No, well, they oh, are, the but, but they're, no, they're on, but they're not, you know. Yeah, hey, hey, oh, dummy, man. they're not sticking inward. They're sticking <laughs> outward. <laughs> but anyway, this was actually the one that I wore, and I sang at the end of the show. I got to debut the very first song from the album. It's called World on Fire. And so that was the one that was uh, on that one. So, <laughs> well, talk about this wig. <laughs> actually, I did pictures in that. I love this wig. This I thought it was so that cute. looks like something you'd love. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I, oh, you all the time. I know. Actually, I wear size five, uh, but I have most of my shoes made. So, <laughs> what is yours? <laughs> A twelve. <laughs> <laughs> How do you play the guitar? with these nails. Pretty good. You really do. Uh -huh. Actually, I've learned how to do an open tuning. Uh -huh. And if you love doing something, you'll find a way to do it. So I do the open tuning, and then when I get real serious about writing, uh -huh. then I just take them off okay. and uh, whittle them down yeah. and then write for a week or two, and then I put them all back on. Um, yeah. Actually, really quick, I want to ask you a question about writing, but that is one of my favorite videos with you and Patty LaVelle, and y'all are playing the Oh, little... yeah, we can still do that. You have on yours? Yeah, working I mean, nine to five. What a way to make a living. living. Barely getting by. It's all taken and no giving. Anyway, I thought it sounded like a typewriter when yes. I was doing my nails. You have to have acrylics, though. You Yours are just, just stick on. Yeah, they're just press ons. Yeah. But well, mine are acrylics. You have yeah. to get the sound with that. Yes. I have written many songs just trying to get a rhythm going, like whether it's slow, but just to get a percussive uh -huh. sound. Yeah. Tell me this. I want to know, because, Dolly, when it comes to you, and a pen and a sheet of paper. Well, how do they just come out of you? They do just you, come out. Just, well, what that's is the a gift. Yes, uh, actually, clearly. My, my mother's people are all very musical. Mm. We go all the way back for all as long as anybody can remember. Wow. And I just took it and tried to make the most of it. But I have a lot of my family that write and sing great. But I'm pretty dramatic too. You're I, very. I love just writing things that make people think. Mm. And, and I love stories. Yes. Yeah, so I like to write stories. So, so good. Now, you've been married for. 
50, almost well, 50, 50, yeah, 57 years 57 married, years. 59 years together. Oh my God. And yeah, and we're still hanging in there. How, I want to know, one, have you wrote any songs inspired by him? Oh, many, many, many songs, yeah. I live. Do you write songs about him? Like if he plucks your nerve, like I told you to take out the trash, you know, something like that. <laughs> Got some of them too. Right, boo. Got some of them too. But can you give us a tip on staying together happy? Like how do Well, you do I actually it? make a joke that's how do you stay together that long? I say, well, I stay gone. So <laughs> you don't get too familiar with each other. But the truth is we're not in the same business mm. and we like each other a lot. Mm. We have both have a great sense of humor. Mm. So most of our problems we can laugh our way through and i just like him as a person I yeah love dolly you have been amazing this has been so amazing walking into your closet getting to know well it's time story. you came out of yours yeah okay <laughs> i'm coming out boom no thank you so much okay this has been amazing we are going to push on now anything you have to say any, oh book? just we talked about the book behind the scenes my life in rhinestones pick it up that's good and the new rock album rock star it's called yeah. and we got a lot of stuff coming up we don't want to get into everything uh -huh. i got going on we'd yeah. be here forever forever last question on the way out so you've done pop country bluegrass now rock What's the next thing we're going to see? But I think my next big album, the music thing I'd like to do. Hip hop. Is to, no, I'm going to do a fantastic big gospel album. So, I mean, I love gospel, but I've never done that ultimate gospel album. Lord, I got more. Like I said, don't get us started on all I'm doing. You ain't got that much time. You got all of the things. Look, this has been but, amazing. We have walked in. Now it is time to walk out. I well, I just want to tell you, thank you for having me, and everybody loves you, and we think you do a good job, too, so thanks for letting me promote all my goods yeah. on your show. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, and I'm getting you a razor for Christmas. Yeah, dog is going to shave my mustache! I love We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You want to get on out of here? I do. You came that way, I came this way. Okay, see you later, okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Be sure to click here to subscribe and click here for more episodes of The Walk. And click here for Rockstar on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. bye.